quality. By the way, no Irish 20s or 21 side has won a Grand Slam with the trips to France yeah. and the trips to England. In 07 and 19, they had those games at home. Yeah. So there's an extra little doffing of the cap to what this team has done, I think. And it's a point worth making, uh, Matt, <laughs> as the Scots, for instance, have to reflect on now 10 successive under 20s matches and zero wins. In Irish rugby, the, the, the schools which are doing such incredible work around the country are the various academies and the clubs uh, producing players as well. There is a lot right with rugby in this country right now and the production line looks like it's continuing. There is, and this is something that Irish rugby has got very right in that they really respect their schools and juniors. They get it that they're, they're the strength, they're the future, and you've got to keep that that future bright mm. by investing in it. And uh, it's something that Scottish rugby has not got right for many, many years, for 20 years, they haven't got it right. And, and I think there's, a, there's an internal battle still within Scotland, Scottish rugby, about how to do this. And, mm. and that's, look, the results are there to see. And it's sad, I, I got some texts over and I, everyone in Scottish rugby is really sad about this and angry and annoyed. But that shouldn't take away from what Ireland's doing because Ireland's got it right. Mm. And, and I think the big thing on that is this is just part of the journey. So you, you, you're investing in your schools and your juniors. You're bringing them through in the, in the you know, 16s and 18s. These are the 20s. There's a trophy riding on the 20s. Now you get them ready for the next step. And it's up to these boys to take that next step. Yeah, well, so far, so good.